Hey there. I have, well, happy Monday. I have um, a fun and interesting um, video today. I even surprised myself. Um, I have black, white, and transparent, and they're all rolled out into a two, but we won't be needing them because today we are doing molds. I had told myself a long time ago that I would never use a mold, I'll never do a mold, and somehow I caved, and I bought some shell molds, and I quickly became obsessed. So, we're going to do molds, but we're going to do them the Tracy way, um, just some, a little bit different um, techniques. And I need to pause real quick because I forgot something, so I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Okay, sorry about that. So, let's just get to it. Um, I have flower mold here. As you can see, I've already had some colors in there, and there's going to be more colors in there. So, I'm going to start. I like the translucent. And we're going to do... We're going to take some mica. This is just a pink. It's magenta, it's called. And... I'm going to dip my paintbrush in here. We're going to use the same mold for all these. So I'm going to dip that in there and I'm just going to stipple it in there into the crevices. So it's nice and in there. And then we're going to blow the excess out. And then I'm going to take my translucent and kind of wad it up a little bit. And I'm going to jam it in there. <laughs> I'm going to cut off some of the excess here. Because what I like to do is take my roller, which is dirty, sorry guys. Cram it on there a little bit, roll it on there a little bit, and when you're rolling, be careful that if it sticks on the one side, you want to hold it down and just roll it the rest of the way, Oops. because um, it, otherwise it'll lift right off. And then you want to keep your blade flat and clean, flat to the, um, to the mold and kind of saw it across when you're taking it off so that it's nice like this. And the good thing is, is you can kind of fix it while it's still in the mold. You can fix your edges. And then I take another piece of clay and kind of open it up like so, press that in there and it pops right out. So then you have this cute little flower that's got some pink on there. <clears throat> and I'm going to zhuzh it up even a little bit more. I'm going to take some pearl. No, I'm going to take some violet. I'm going to take some violet. And just put a little bit on my finger like so. And then just go across the top. So now you have just the tips have a little bit of violet on them. So you have a pink flower with little violet tips, if you can see that. Like so. And you can do more or less if you would like with those. So I'll put that one over here. That's with the translucent. So one way to get um, uh, excess um, or leftover color that's left in there. Sorry, guys. Um, it's just to take another piece of clay and jam it in there until you don't get any more color on there. Just kind of keep doing that until you don't see any more color left. Although I am going to use the pink again um, with the white. So 
I guess it doesn't matter too much. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, we're going to do the pink again. And just stipple it in there. I'm just showing you examples of how it looks with different different colors as your base. So stipple that in there. Blow the excess. Take your white. I'm going to tear this off instead of having to cut it next time. And then just cram it in there. <clears throat> Then we're going to cut it off. Make sure you get all of it. Then I'm going to use this and pretty pink. And then this time I'm going to use the pearl on the top. You can leave it like that, obviously, if you want. Um, I just kind of like the look of the extra on the tips there. And you can see how pretty. Now, the black one. Let me get this out. I'm going to do a little bit goth on the black. So, I'll show you that. I'm going to do red. I'm going to put some red down in there. Blow out the excess. Take my black. Cram it in there. You really want to make sure that that's crammed in there so that it, all the little spaces are completely filled in with clay. Saw that off. Do your edges. And then I have my red and black, kind of gothy looking. <clears throat> and then I'm actually going to put black, or this is onyx, for the tips. Like that. So it looks like that. These are just ideas. Obviously, you can use whatever colors you want. I thought that, that would be kind of cool. So the last one I'm going to show you. Um, not the last. I, I have more. Sorry. Um, let me just get some of this out. I also spray alcohol in there to to get it out. I have an old um, veneer that I had, and this is kind of fun. If you take an old veneer like this, this one's crumbly. I'll kind of get it in there. I'll show you with another one too, a newer one. But just take it and do the same thing. Just cram it in there. Roll it in there.
and then it comes out like that. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, and that's when I will add uh, what would be pretty on here. How about some gold? Put some gold on top. How about that, guys? See how cool that is? See how pretty? And then I also have these cool shell molds. And I'm obsessed with this one. As you can see, it's been used a lot. And this is that Jasper, Ocean Jasper veneer that I did last week. So I'll just show you. Just take that as it breaks apart and just kind of mold it up. Let's stick it in there. Because it already looks, ugh. see if you don't get it right, it's gonna pop out. For some reason this does a, pop out a lot too, this particular mold, but it works. it off just like regular this one comes out pretty easy let's we'll see that one it's cool when you use like veneers that you've already had and I could take and go across like maybe with some copper or black or something like that but I'm actually gonna leave this the way it is because I like how it looks um, these are some flowers that I did yesterday. They're not baked yet, but that was from a blue that I was working with the other day. And then I put, uh, just pearl on top of that. Um, and then the last thing that I was going to show you with the flowers, got to get some alcohol inks in here. You know I love my alcohol inks. So I'm going to take a piece. You don't want anything. You want it with the translucent I'm doing this with. You could do it with any color, white, translucent. I just love alcohol inks with translucent. So that's what I'm going to do. Get that in there. Pop that out, and then we're going to take a very thin brush. I'm going to take these. Let's see. We'll do some yellow and fuchsia. And I have this tiny little brush. <clears throat> and we're just going to drop this on there after I shake it. Put a couple little drops on a tiny brush and just drop it in there. Well, I guess there was some green in there. Or blue, actually. That's fine. We'll deal with it, no problem. So just drop some color in there. You can do one color or two colors or whatever you'd like. Just 
So do that. I think I'm going to just wet that and go around so that bleeds a little more. Just with water on my paintbrush. I have a daisy. <laughs> now that I've gotten a couple of molds, I ordered a ton more. And I have daisies coming, so I'm excited for that because I can do a different color in, in the center and go around. So we'll let that dry for a second. And then I'm going to do the tips of those as well. <clears throat> and I think I'll do the tips since that middle came out green. I think I'm going to do green. This is a sea green. Doesn't have to be completely dry, but just a little bit. It's probably good. Um, so let's see how this looks. Just lightly around. Like that. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and bake these. And then I will show you how they look after they are baked. And... I will see you ah, I'll see you soon. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I'm freaking out a little bit because I know here it is. Never mind. <laughs> Golly, that scared me. Um, I couldn't find this black one for the life of me. I'm looking everywhere for it, and I was like, I know I made a black one with red and then black tips and here it is so somehow it flew across and i just happened to find it just now so anyway this is how they turned out here's this little shell i made with the veneer from the ocean jasper um this one was the um, alcohol inks that i put the yellow that turned green and then the pink and then i put the green on top um, this one is my favorite. This is the one from this leftover rainbowy translucent veneer, and then I did the gold tips, so that one turned out really pretty. And then here's the black and the white. And then <clears throat> these are both translucent. So that's how those all look. These are ones I made yesterday. Um, and I have a whole pile of flowers and shells and I haven't done anything with them So eventually I will I bought some little tiny ceramic pots, so I might make little flower arrangements I'm not really sure yet But anyway, they're so cute and they're fun. I might make these earrings. I think just drill some holes in them um, and do that but um, I hope you enjoyed that. I think they're fun and super cute I'll put a link to the um, to the shells and the um, and the flowers. I also got another big flower one, um, and then I'm expecting daisies today also. So I'll put links for those. Um, they're all Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys join Happy Place Studio Polymer Clay Group on Facebook and put your stuff up there that you make and your websites or anything like that um hope you guys have a great day i might be doing three tutorials this week so if i do then you'll see me on wednesday have a great couple days bye